Hi guys, my name is Will and I make cool things in Apple Keynote. Today, I'm gonna to show you very quickly some tips to make your presentation in Keynote better for people who are taking notes. Not all presentations have people taking notes, but I know some of you out there are teachers like me and especially when you're lecturing digitally, it's important to communicate to note takers what info is most important. Another way to think about it is communicating what information is gonna be on the quiz or the test. So before we get started, if you like Keynote, go ahead and hit the like button. So here we are inside Keynote and we are looking at a Napoleon lecture that I teach for my world history class and on this slide we're talking about the French Empire and these are the things I want them to know about Napoleon but not all of them are going to be on the quiz or test that they will eventually take. So this is what I do. I come up here to shape and I use stars to indicate what's going to be on the t quizzes or tests and so I'm gonna make it a yellow star because it's kind of an ugly color right now. Let's go with bright yellow. I like it. Make it a little bit smaller. Right about that size. Let's give it a border line. A black line at five point looks actually pretty good. Let's give it a drop shadow. Yeah, let's keep it a white drop shadow. Maybe bring the offset up a little bit and put it at an angle. All right, I'm liking how that looks. And so I'm going to go ahead and give it an animate. I like to use flash bulbs because it just looks really flashy and it grabs people's attention. And so these last two bullet points are the two that are going to be on the quiz or the test. So I'm going to put stars next to both of these. So I just go command D to duplicate it and make sure that they are built together. And this is what it looks like. So the words come on the screen, you tell them what's going on, and then flash bulbs, these are the important things that are gonna be on the quiz. But it's a little bit better if you have a sound effect. So I'm gonna drag and drop this sound effect, which sounds like this. Yes, it's from Super Mario. How did I get that? Drink up me hearty show ho. I'm sure that sound effect is copyrighted, but this is for educational purposes as I'm a teacher, so it is completely fine under fair use copyright. So I'm gonna use that. Build order, include it with my two stars, and now this is what it looks like. You put the words on the screen, and then stars. And it looks and sounds like that, very catchy. People watching the presentation, students at home, they know that's what's on the quiz. But you can even level it up a little bit more by taking a shape. I like to use check. So if you find the dingbat check, this last part about Napoleon not having freedom of speech, that's gonna be on their final exam. And so what I like to do too is to let students know, hey, these things are on the quiz, but your final exam is gonna have a question on this. So another annotation you can do, let's make it green. Let's make it bright green, put the brightness all the way up. And then give it a line, give it a shadow. I like how that looks. And then let's give it a wipe in to make it look like it's checking and give it a separate, but also Mario sound effect. You can use whatever sound effects you want that you can get a hold of, maybe some free ones on the internet. So that one sounds like this. And so what you're gonna do is make sure that those two are together. So in the build order, you see text, 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 the two stars in the sound effect, and then the check in the sound effect. Looks good, then you play it. You tell them this stuff, you go over this stuff, and this stuff. These are important things on the quiz. That thing is on the final exam. And then that way students can annotate it within their notes when they go back and study their notes. It just helps them tremendously, especially if you're lecturing digitally. All right, guys, if you made it this far in the video, leave a comment below telling me if this was helpful or not. Make sure to subscribe for more keynote tutorials and smack the like button on your way out. Until the next time, guys, bye-bye.